Hello everyone and welcome to a, another episode here of the Frosting Noah series here on the channel using TW2020. This it is the Great Voyage in Tokyo Volume 3 show that's going to be happening and then we're going to go through the Global Junior League and of course then we'll have the uh, Great Voyage in Osaka show that will follow it. So we're going to have 11 shows in this episode. It's going to be quite the jam-packed episode. Uh, but uh, we'll go through the tour goals, we'll go through this card, and then we'll also go through the standings as far as what's going to happen for uh, who's all going to be in the Global Junior League. And we'll be uh, ready to rock and roll. Uh, it's uh, obviously our tour goals are pretty much, you know, as always for the first two, which is, you know, the goal is to have an 85 plus show rating and we're one pop away as far as pop size wise to be a big size promotion. So that's pretty exciting. Uh, so, uh, yeah, we'll go through the <laughs> Junior League. Now, uh, since uh, that's part of the tour goal, so block A looks like this Alex Bain, Atsushi Aoki, Daisuke Arata, Takanuma, Kushida, Kyle O'Reilly, Raisuke Taguchi, Ricky Marvin, Roger Strong, and Tiger Mask. As for the block B, Bobby Fish, Eddie Edwards, Yoshinibu Kenamar, Kator Suzuki, Noki Tanasaki, Yoshitone, Prince Devitt, Super Crazy, The Great Sasuke, and then Zack Sabre Jr. As uh, that is our two blocks. Should be a pretty fun tournament I think yeah I think we have a lot of pretty over guys and obviously it wouldn't be as great you know we're not gonna have Loki in it or anything but it should still be a very very good tournament as uh, then we're gonna get rid of Tiger Mask after this uh, global junior league uh, just I felt like we've used Tiger Mask so much and he's already like a negative kind of guy to have in the locker room so just it's nice to do a nice little spring cleaning and get rid of him our roster is getting bigger and bigger we almost have 70 people on the roster might as well start cutting some people. And so, yeah, and 11 shows in this one episode. It's going to be quite the jam-packed episode. As for this card, though, uh, The Great Voyage in Tokyo Volume 3, I am very, very excited for it. We got Tomori Ishii versus Katsuri Shibata. Uh, there, you know, obviously Ishii had a chance to be in that number one contenders match, but because he was injured, never got that chance. So instead, he's going to get just a title match now. He gets a little lucky. After that, he's going to take on Shibata. As uh, we're going to have Strong Big Japan versus the Kings of Wrestling of the Co-Main. Apollo 55 versus Speed Muscle. Should be very fun how that one plays out. Kenta versus Takeshi Morishima. Yoshihiro Takayama and Yuji Hino. So the Muscle Bombers and No Mercy having the singles matches between the two. We're going to have Low Key and the Great Sasuke. As far as uh, kind of the farewell for uh, Low Key there. As he'll be losing to the Great Sasuke. Daiji Shimori. Ricky Marvin. Super crazy. We're going to take on Diamond Ring of Katsuka Nakajima, Kento Mihara, and Keno. That should be pretty fun. And then Kakanuma and Yoshinibu Katamura against Kotor Suzuki and Atsushi Aoki. It's a little No Mercy, Anti No Mercy Union opener there. As for some reason, I feel like it's. Yeah, it doesn't feel like there's eight matches, but there is. I don't know why. Just the whole time, I'm like, do we have more than eight? Do we have less than eight? But no, we got exactly eight. As uh, I want to make sure that it's pre-booked first it is not so we'll be stopping the recording and pre-booking all this before we actually run the show because we already know this episode's going to be pretty long don't need to make it any longer than it needs to be <laughs> all right so we are going to be at junior stadium good call there so we got backstage instant oh we got a couple as a uh, referee helped create a relaxed atmosphere when he set up a barbecue outside and cooked for everyone how nice it's talking about some Powerful wrestlers quite accused of being absorbed by his phone when he should have been paying attention to a, in a locker room meeting. The judge, the great Sasuke, found him guilty and sent him to buy a crate of beer for the locker room. All positive impact for Dagger Mask. All right. So, yeah, I mean, what, uh, 47,000 in Ginger Stadium. Pretty cool. As far as the show goes, obviously the main event will be uh, Tomorishi and Katsuri Shibata. It's going 24 minutes, pretty short. I thought about making it maybe a little bit longer. Yeah, we could. 29 minutes. As uh, Shibata's going to get the win there, that'll be his fourth defense. Then uh, Kings Wrestling and uh, Strong Big Japan, which uh, Kings Wrestling will be winning. There, that should be obviously a banger of a matchup. Apollo 55 and Speed Muscle, as Apollo 55 will be getting the win. A short reign for Speed Muscle. What that reign is, uh, I think it's. Seven days? Yeah, a week. <laughs> Had the belts for a week. Uh, it just a, I felt like it was a nice time to just have a transitional champion, and really it felt like Speed Muscle were kind of the perfect people for that. 
as a first rain for uh, Apollo 55 there. So Kenta and Takeshi Morishima. And Morishima will be getting the win over Kenta, which is pretty cool. First time he's ever beaten Kenta as far as in the mod. So that's that's pretty great. And then uh, we're going to have, obviously, Takeyama and Yuchihino with Takeyama winning there. And then we're going to have Loki, Great Sasuke with, obviously, Sasuke getting the win over Loki, which I'm sure he loves that. Surprised he didn't complain about it. And the sixth man of uh, Ishimori, Ricky Marvin, Super Crazy against Diamond Ring, as we still haven't put... <laughs> uh, we got to do that. We got to change that. As I uh, put Keno in Diamond Ring, as Keno's going to beat Super Crazy. That's a big win for him. And then uh, we'll have Kakanuma and Yoshiniba Kanemaru against Aoki and Suzuki. So the No Mercy Junior Tag Team have terrible chemistry with each other, so that's great. And uh, Katori Suzuki will be getting the win, though. Over Kakanuma and Yoshiniba Kanemaru. As, uh, yeah, we'll add Diamond Ring. You can see here, as, uh, well, it's kind of weird we have to go down here. Just in case we do ever bring back Kensuke, which I'm sure we will. As, uh, yeah, I mean, that's, uh, it's the main card, as far as our two pre show matches. We'll add a single and a tag. Okay, obviously, Marfuji not being on the card. That's a bit of a bummer. So I'll throw him out there as, uh, seeing who would be a. Just a fun match for him. As, uh. Got, ooh, what's the word? Got a little bit more of a. Oh, yeah, we could do Ishikawa and him. It'd be fun. I don't think we've ever done this as far as singles wise, no. 18, Marfuji get the win. Just a nice little bounce back match for Marfuji after losing to Shibata in the main. Oh. Someone shouldn't be there as I will just change. There we go. Now the tag. So we'll just see. So we got Live Strong Die Hard. Yeah, you could always go for a Live Strong Die Hard Momo No Sushin tag match. As uh, I think now we'll have Live Strong and Die Hard get the win. Give it 13. As uh, we'll have Eddie beat Kotoge. There we go. Alrighty. That is the show. Let's run it. 60. Wow, as, uh, yeah, Eddie and Roddy did a really good job. Nice guy, Roddy, best guy in the match. Uh, just Katoge, you know, obviously the worst guy, as he takes the chin checker in 13-18. Pretty good stuff there. The 77 from Mafuji and Shuji Shikawa. Obviously, I think if I wanted to change the time and stuff, this would have definitely been on the main card, but opted not to, as the Shiren Yu from Mafuji in 1810. Probably hindsight probably should have done that, but that's okay. The 69 opener. Not enough selling and their timing's all over the place, but still get the 69 at least. As uh, Kotor Suzuki with the Blue Destiny over Kakanuma in uh, 12 15. So that Kotor Suzuki, best guy of the match, followed by Aoki and then Kanemar and Kakanuma. As a 74, wow, uh, for Super Crazy Ishimori and Ricky Marvin against Diamond Ring of Katsuki Nakajima, Kento Miyahara, and Kano as uh, Kano with the right high kick over Super Crazy at 16.08. Yeah, I mean, just trying to make a guy here. This is kind of all that is. Kino still a little below where everybody else is in that match, but just tried it. Tried to give him something going. Ishimura's an 80, though, was pretty crazy. Good for him. It's an 80. Uh, speaking of an 80, as uh, Loki taking the Thunder Fire Bomb from Great Sasuke in 12.56. I don't know how this gets an 80, but I love it. As a uh, key with a 73-68 for Great Sasuke. Sasuke getting the win there. So 78 for Yuji Hino and Yoshiro Takayama. Takayama with the Everest Suplex over Yuji Hino in 18.04, even though Yuji Hino outperforms it by 10. Great job by Yuji Hino. He's the fucking man. Another 78. Figured with the chemistry boost and everything, it would have worked out, but uh, right guy wins for sure. I mean, Morishima on 85, 69 for Kent. I'm not really sure what's going on with Kent. Obviously, had the great reign, and uh, it's definitely being surpassed by how great Shibata's been as far as their matches. Uh, with uh, you know, with either 
Hero or with uh, just you know just or with the Mar Fuji match. So far, the Shibata matches have been a lot better than Kenta's was during his reign, but we don't get there without the Kenta reign though. But Morishima with a great win there, as uh, and with the Maze Impact in twenty five fifty nine. And the Junior Heavyweight Tag Match gets an 81 as Apollo 55 and Speed Muscle as Apollo 55 get the win. As they get the win with the Apollo 55 as Devin Pitting knock uh, Nuruki Doi as Apollo 55 and the new Junior Heavyweight Tag Team Champions. Devin and uh, Raisuke Taguchi. Definitely the wrong team wins, but with them being on loan, wanting to get rid of the belts fast and put on someone that we have kind of more full time ish. Oh, but still a pretty fun, fun match, though, in 81. You can't go wrong with that. We'll see what... And 88, holy shit, as um, the Kings of Wrestling make their second defense of their second reign here. Both teams have excellent... Or they have a team of excellent chemistry. we got a team with great chemistry. And there's not enough selling show, which could have been even better. But everybody's awesome. Uh, it's funny, Eugene over the 76, and he's better than like most guys we have it, it, as far as in this match and these ratings. But that's just the way it goes. It's, uh, it's kind of like, ah, damn Eugene, but... Still pretty awesome. Pretty awesome stuff there. Good luck with that main event. Yep. 82, though. Still pretty good as uh, Shibata making his fourth defense. He gets the one with the octopus hold in 2904. Shibata's off his game style performs Ishii. By a lot, and not enough selling shown. Welcome to a Katsuri Shibata to Marie Ishii match. Uh, it's pretty awesome, though. Pretty awesome show. As uh, definitely. I, I want the Kings Wrestling the main event. Probably the next show, if we can, the uh, the uh, Great Voyage in Osaka, just to change it up a little bit. Uh, just because, also, they deserve it, too. They've been having great matches. Pretty awesome, though. Pretty awesome. That Kings of Wrestling Strong Big Japan match. The Junior Heavyweight Tag match did well. Basically, all the title matches did well. So that's you know, great to see. That Sasuke Loki match, I don't know where it gets an 80. Very, very shocked by that. But yeah, love that. That was that was great. As far as uh, the show goes, who to put over? I'm gonna go with Daisuke. I'm just trying to you know spread the wealth. Get people that haven't really been talked about in a while. Uh, same thing. We'll go with Shibata. And uh, let's see here, who else we could put over? I guess Morishima. I don't see why not. Hell yeah. Cool, cool, cool. All right, so that shows in the books, and now on to the junior heavyweight global league. Should be very fun. As uh, you know, looking to continue uh, just our great momentum we built up here in 2012, and hopefully we have a great tournament, have a great tournament finals, and uh, you know, oh yeah, we're looking for the future. Looks like we have expanded to big. Yep. Oh yeah, warming up phase. Damn. During the fucking uh, Global Junior League too, so yeah, Ultra Dragon hands in his notice as well. Tommy Yen just walked out of PWA. Thought about bringing him in. Obviously, we'd have to start him from scratch, but not a bad idea. I love how he's French. <laughs> he is not French at all. That is that's pretty great. That's like the third time someone's been miscasted like that. Oh, we have a production department warning. Alright, let's upgrade this, and upgrade that. Oh, fun, already losing out money. Uh, so yeah, and then you know, we'll uh, advance to the Global Junior League, and we'll run that first show here. Alright, so uh, before we start, I do want to say um, that I did change out somebody in the standings. First, I was going to not have Ishimura be involved, uh, just because I was going to maybe initiate the change of not having the champion be involved in the Global League. But I was just like, why not? You know, why not keep it as is, as we've been doing, and, and figured better not change it. So we took out Yoshito and put in Ishimori. Uh, so, I mean, this is now even better of a Global Junior League now going into it. Uh, so that should be very exciting. We have backstage incident. It's Oleg and Great Sasuke, as he's brought before Rasmus Court, accused of making a mess backstage, not cleaning it up, annoying everyone else. The judge, the Great Sasuke, found him guilty and sentenced him to clean it up. And then buy drinks for everyone after the show. Small positive and like way to go, Sasuke. As uh, yeah, I think we're gonna have it not be in Kanto because we've kind of ran there. 
a good bit now. I think we're gonna start it in Chubu. Uh, weirdly enough. So, uh, let's take a look here. Yeah, 1,700. Good shit. Alright, so, uh, Block A, of course, will be main eventing. Which, uh, I wanna say, as far as, uh, main events go, I believe, I believe, the main event will be Tiger Mask in Roderick Strong. Uh, the reason because, Roderick Strong will be beating Tiger Mask in a pretty big upset. Way to go Tiger Mask for putting the kid over and not complaining about it. Uh, then we'll probably do... It's, uh, it's tough, because they're not really... I think probably Great Sasuke and Katoru Suzuki will be the co-main. That would probably be the main anywhere, any other time, but because it's a Block B match, it's the co-main, and, and Katoru Suzuki is going to beat the Great Sasuke. Uh, then we can kind of go wherever. Now with this, I'm probably going to go with uh, Marvin and Taguchi, though. Just uh, Taguchi beating Ricky Marvin. Then Prince Devin and Eddie Edwards, which, what a banger of a match, but Devin's going to get the win there. And then Daisuke Arata and Kushida, which is awesome. And Daisuke's going to beat Kushida. And that's going 20. Uh, because it's going 20, I might actually change it to where it goes there. So there you go. Uh, moving up in the world <laughs> is uh, Daisuke Arata and Kushida. Uh, that could also have been a main event, too, I guess. You know, could have really went either way there. Actually, yeah, let's um, let's do that. There we go. As uh, Then we'll probably do... Probably Ishimori and Super Crazy, which, because Ishimori is doing so well, this is probably going to be a banger, as Ishimori, we have that set for Steal the Show, obviously Ishimori will be getting the win there. Then Yoshiba Kanemaru and Anuki Tanasaki, Kanemaru will be getting the win. Kyle O'Reilly and Kakuna, as uh, Kakuna will be taking the fall there to Kyle O'Reilly. Bobby Fish and Zack Sabre Jr., Zack's going to get the win there in 10 minutes, and then Alex Payne. Zuji Aoki. Aoki's gonna get the win in 14 minutes. <laughs> or not Alex Payne getting the win. We're good on time. We're good on everything else. Good shit. Good shit. As I... We might just switch that and that. Just an idea. Since it's 12 minutes. Just so we can kind of... Move it through. Oh, yeah, there we go. We're just gonna change up the card a little bit. We'll save it. We'll run it. The 48, they'd start the show, that's right, because they don't click. That's why I had that so low. A good call there, as uh, they don't click, and it makes for a little bit of an awkward bout. As uh, Zack Sabre Jr. gets the win, though, with the Sabre Driver in 10-11 over Bobby Fish. That's his first points of the tournament. The 62 for Alex Payne at Sushi Aoki. Sushi Aoki uh, gets the win with the assault point in 14-24, but I will say this, Alex Payne... Someone to watch out for. He's got a 54 in this match. I think this is his global league to really show that he is, he belongs in this junior division. He belongs here in Pro Wrestling. Now it's Kyle O'Reilly beating Kakuna uh, with a ankle lock in 14-23. As uh, not enough selling shown. As Kyle O'Reilly gets the one with the ankle lock, though. That'll be two points for him. Kakuna uh, gets outperformed. So the right guy wins a 74 for Ishimori and Super Crazy. Super Crazy uh, taking the fall with a from Osilio in 13.08. Good stuff. There's a 69 for Yoshideba Kanemaru and Yuki Tanasaki. Has uh, Tanasaki taken the deep impact in 15.33? Yoshideba Kanemaru with a 65.59 for Yuki Tanasaki. As a 67 for Devitt and Eddie Edwards. Prince Devitt with a diving foot stomp in 15.47. As a 69 for Prince Devitt. 52 for Eddie Edwards. As uh, we just keep it rolling. As a 52. Oh, they don't click. Well. That sucks. Has uh, Taguchi with a Dodan in uh, 1704. Taguchi with a 50. 40 for Ricky Marvin. That sucks. <laughs> we'll get it back, though. Has a uh, 59 for Tiger Mask and Roderick Strong. As a... Uh, man. That's, uh, that's a big tough. But uh, Roddy is a good thing that was not the main event. As uh, Roddy with the upset with the Gibson Driver in 1805. Little uh, Tiger Driver versus Tiger Driver situation. 65 for the Great Sasuke and Kotor Suzuki as uh, Suzuki with the Blue Destiny over uh, the Great Sasuke. Sasuke outperformed him. Could have went with the Great Sasuke there. Uh, but we went with Kotor Suzuki in 22 minutes getting the win. Pretty fun now. That's fine. As a Kome, or as the main event rather, Jesus, as Kushida and Daisuke Arata. Daisuke Arata with the upset with the Arata pistol in 2013. Kushida with a 61 though. Daisuke Arata with a 52. 
be very awesome to see this match. You know, you had the, the junior ace of Noah and the junior ace of, of uh, New Japan battling out in this uh, old timeline where they're both in Noah. Pretty awesome. Uh, but yeah, it was a fun little show. Obviously, kind of the wrong things went on last there. I, I was kind of all over the place with the card. Obviously, did not know Taguchi, Ricky Marvin were going to not have uh, great chemistry. Uh, obviously, that match would have been way the fuck down there. I knew Taiji Shibori was going to do well, but I really underestimated just how well he could be. And he should probably be a little bit more higher on the cards now going forward. That makes sense, too, because he's the fucking junior champ, too. Probably shouldn't throw him just in the middle of the card. But yeah, I mean, it, it didn't lose pop or anything. Obviously, we're kind of in a great place where we don't, we're not going to gain a lot of pop, obviously, because of the warming up phase, but we're not going to hopefully lose any pop either, so hopefully everything goes well. They have a one showdown, eight more to go for this Global Junior League, and, uh, you know, so far, got a lot of upsets, a lot of upsets happening, uh, you know, Roderick Strong over Tiger Mask, Daisuke Rod over Kushida, uh, a lot of fun stuff happening so far. We got a lot of talent in this Junior League, we just got to kind of hone it in and figure out what should be the main is kind of the big thing for a lot of these shows uh, but yeah on to a day two we go all right day two and uh it will obviously be a block b main event i think i know the perfect main event for this as uh yeah we just brought in nozawa and he's already organized and won a video game tournament what a pal so we're bringing him back in this time uh his deal with all japan it would change from a written, exclusive written to a handshake deal. Obviously, All Japan's probably a little thin on money, I guess. Uh, so we stole him back. Yeah, so that should be fun. I don't know what we're going to do with him now because obviously Los Perros de Mall, De Apollon is done. Uh, but we could still use him with uh, Super Crazy and even maybe Ricky Marvin too, something like that. But uh, as Ultimate Dragons, Rob Ford wrestles court accused of not joining the rest of the locker room on a night out. The judge could rate Sasuke, found them guilty, and sentenced to fight drinks right off the show. Hell yeah. Uh, so, uh, so we're gonna go again, not in Ganto. As, uh, probably, well, down in the hundred in Osaka. I was kind of waiting to run Osaka, but it might be a perfect time now since we haven't ran there since, uh, since August. Yeah, especially, especially with the show we have. I think this is gonna be a really good show. Yeah, so, 1,800 if we can. There we go. Oh, we got a dome. <laughs> we got a little dome. How fun. Uh, so, yeah, uh, Taiji Shimori, Kotori Suzuki, that's the main. So Kotori Suzuki will be beating Taiji Shimori as far as I don't, as <laughs> I had to really track and see where their singles matches are. Uh, here's one. It was uh, the Junior League last year. Kotori Suzuki beat him. And as far as that goes, I think that's the only singles match that they've had against each other, and uh, Kotori Suzuki won last time around. Oh no, there's the other one. So they are one-on-one -on -one in singles matches. I was to say, I think they had a junior heavyweight title match this year, and uh, it was a 73, but now uh, Kotori Suzuki will be getting the win, and obviously will be granted a title match now with this win. Ishimori taking the, his first fall of the tournament. Now can kind of go elsewhere uh, with this. So I was thinking maybe Kyle and Taguchi, uh, you know, we have Kushida, Ricky Marvin is there, is there as well. We've got a lot of good stuff here, but I, yeah, I think we're going to go with Kyle and Taguchi for a block A co-main, as Taguchi will be getting the win in 22 minutes. Now we're going to kind of go all over the place as uh, Tiger Mask and Atsushi Aoki. That probably should also be maybe the co-main instead as uh yeah, we'll, we'll just switch that out, because I just got a bad feeling about the Gucci. We'll see, though. Maybe I'm wrong. Other than Great Sasuke and Uki Tanasaki. So we have that as the other show. Probably a bad idea, but that's all right. And we'll throw Ricky Marvin Kushida on there, which I believe is also Steal the Show. So two Steal the Show matches. Obviously, we'll have to break that up. Super Crazy and Yoshinibu Kanamura. 14 minutes. I feel like that's a little low for where we probably should have put that, but I will put that there that out. Eddie Edwards and Zack Sabre Jr. Uh, Zack's going to get the win in 19 minutes there. It's a big win for Zack Sabre Jr. As we'll split just between there. And Bobby Fish, Prince Devitt. Prince Devitt will be getting the win in 14. 
Oh, gotta change the time. Looks like the time was off for this. Yep, gotta be two hours and 30 minutes. So there we go. Now we should have plenty of time. Alex Payne and Roderick Strong, which Alex Payne beats Roderick Strong. Pretty awesome there. So we're gonna keep Roddy Strong, but it's a nice win for Alex Payne. Nice win there. Then Dice got Rod and Kakanuma, but Dice got Rod beating Kakanuma. Following that big win over Kushida, that'll be four points for him. I want to say we're pretty good as far as we're at on uh, time and whatnot, obviously. Uh, we just got to probably change a ref. Yep. Shinichi. Now oh, there we go. Uh, so perfect. Perfect. All right. Uh, let's run the show. Day two here. Oh, still not great as far as uh, pop-wise, but Roger Strong, Alex Payne, goes, uh, it's a 37. Alex Payne gets still with the sweet spot, 1247. That just sucks, though. Well, we'll get, we'll get him back with the crowd, though, as uh, Daisuke Rada and Kakanuma, as Daisuke gets the win over Kakanuma in 1214. Poor Kakanuma, he's getting outperformed. It's just slightly, so he's just slightly losing out in these matches. Rada Pistol for Daisuke, and that's going to be four points for him. The so 61 for Devin and Bobby Fish. As Prince with uh, Devitt with the Prince's throne in 1332. Easy win there for Prince Devitt. A 65 for the Great Sasuke Nuki Tanasaki as the Thunder Fire Power Bomb for the Great Sasuke. Gets the win. And that will be his first points of the tournament. It's pretty awesome. For the Great Sasuke. It's a 59 as Zack and Eddie have great chemistry. It's awesome to see. Uh, Zack with the uh, Saber Driver in 1919. It's a 59 for Zack Sabre Jr., 49 for Eddie Edwards, or actually 48 for Eddie Edwards, as he gets on, as he uh, takes the fall to Eddie Edwards. Uh, that's a nice win for Zack Sabre Jr., almost in the 60s. They don't click either, and Ricky Marvin and Kushida, as uh, Kushida with the Kushida lock in uh, 1318, at least it's not so bad, it's just a 55. We'll get it back, though, with a 64 here, with Yoshiniba Kanemaru and Super Crazy. So, uh, Kanemaru gets one with a deep impact in 1349. Yeah, good stuff. Good stuff there. The 65 for Kyle and Deguchi. Deguchi outperformed him, and he gets the win uh, with a Doden and 2156. 65 though for the match. Not bad. Another 65 for Tiger Mask as Sushi Aoki. And Aoki was off his game, so he gets outperformed. The wrong guy wins, but obviously we know we're gonna get rid of Tiger Mask. So slow start for Tiger Mask. I'm sure he'll finish quite nicely in the main events of 69. Kotoro Suzuki, Taiji Shimori. As Kotoro Suzuki beats Taiji Shimori with the Blue Destiny in 24-59. So much for Ishimori doing those 80s, but uh, yeah, it still was a pretty good show, I would say. Uh, just the 68 was a little bit better than the last show, even though we didn't have anything as good as that last match we ran with Ishimori in the last show. But uh, yeah, I mean, at least it was a little bit more cohesive card. Uh, just, you know, probably would have flipped Sasuke with uh, Kushida and Ricky, uh, with Kushida and Ricky Marvin. Now that that would have been a pretty solid show. But still, you know, still, I don't think it would have changed the rating or anything. Two shows down, as uh, we'll be looking at the ratings, or not the ratings, rather the standings of the uh, tournament, probably after the first four shows, and then we'll probably then go from the fourth show to the sixth show, and then the eighth, and obviously going into the ninth show. As far as, uh, you know, a lot of guys, or a lot of great guys are in this Global Junior League. Really, anything can happen. And we'll see what's going on with this day. As Yep, another. <laughs> gotta, gotta wait again. As on to day three we go. It's day three of the Global Junior League. And uh, we have another Block A main event. Which it will probably be. As far as it might be Aoki and Daisuke Rada, it's probably going to be the main. It's tough, because it's either going to be that or Taguchi and Roddy. And I just don't think Roderick Strong, Taguchi would be a better match compared to Daisuke Rada and Atsushi Aoki. But we'll see. And another huge win for Daisuke Rada. The upsets just keep on going for Daisuke Rada. He has had a hell of a start to this Global Junior League. Beating Atsushi Aoki in the main event. But this co-main. And it would have been a main event anywhere else. But it's a draw. Uh, between these two men. Prince Devin and Taiji Shimoya. They both walk away with one point. Devin's a little unhappy about the draw. So 
of a bitch, but it's alright, we'll keep him strong. Should be a very good match, though, and that's a fun co-main. Cool obviously, would have been a main event any time, but I uh, just re had to replace Yoshitone, obviously, and I couldn't really change anything else uh, from what everything was set up. I, you know, it, it just is what it is there. Nothing more you can really ask for uh, from that. It's just kind of bad scheduling on my part, but I think it still should be a good show, though, nonetheless. It's the uh, rest of the card. I'm really liking this Zack Sabre Jr. Yoshitone Kanemura match. Uh, the Kyle O'Reilly Ricky Marvin match, maybe. Taguchi Roddy, I think that's what we'll go with. Yeah, and Taguchi's gonna get the win. And then Zack and Kanemaru. Zack Sabre Jr. is gonna beat Yoshinibu Kanemaru, which is a huge win there. So we're gonna keep Kanemaru strong. Then Tiger Mask and Kakanuma. Tiger Mask will be getting his first win. And uh, that, that might be a little lower on the card, to be honest, as, uh, it's tough, because I, I, Alex Payne Kushida just seems really fun there, as, uh, we're gonna have Kushida get the win, maybe not, we'll probably change all this, because I'm just looking at times, as, yeah, because, like, Katoru Suzuki and Nuki Tanasaki, which Tanasaki's gonna get the upset over Katoru Suzuki, so we'll probably be bumming that up, obviously, now, so I think we'll put that about here, to be honest, man, yeah, then we're just gonna everything down. Yeah, then Fish and Sasuke. Sasuke's gonna get the win. Eddie Edwards is super crazy. I already know I gotta change that time. Edwards gets the win. That's his first win. And then Kyle O'Reilly and Ricky Marvin. Kyle beating Ricky Marvin. So we'll just uh, flip that and that. Perfect. So we'll just kind of look and see. Oh, we need to seal the show match. Alright, um, I guess we could just have it be Kakanuma. Tiger Mask? Sure. And change the time. I'll do that uh, for every one of these, because uh, we'll definitely need it. Wow, we still need the, the extra time. We'll be a three-hour show. Alright. Yeah, I guess, because uh, we do have a 30-minute match on there and a lot of other stuff, too. So, yeah, I guess that does make sense. Alright. Let's run the show as an ankle lock. Or, or, or the Kushida lock, rather, for Kushida and 11.39 over Alex Payne. Should have gave that more time. Should have definitely gave that more time, because that was a pretty good match. 67 rating, that was really good. Good stuff for uh, Kushida there with a 64. So 59 and 58 for Kakanuman again. Poor Kakanuman. Just keeps on slightly getting outperformed as he loses to Tiger Mask. Uh, with Tiger Suplex 09 and 12.29. Got the crowd buzzing, though and lifts the crowd a little bit as Eddie Edwards takes the trifecta. I thought he was going to get the win there. I guess I was wrong. As a super crazy... Uh, he, the right guy, though. Right guy wins as he wins the trifecta in 1346. I believe that's his first points of the tournament. Is a 62 for the Great Sasuke and Bobby Fish. It's the Great Sasuke with the Thunder Fire Bomb in 1523. So fun win for Sasuke. It's a 64 for Kyle O'Reilly and Ricky Marvin. It's an ankle lock for Kyle O'Reilly in 1544. The 62 for Roderick Strong and Raisuke Taguchi. Pretty close, but uh, Taguchi uh, gets the win with the Dodon in 1544. The 66 for Yoshinibu Kanemaru and Zack Sabre Jr. As Zack with the PK kick, and we're trying to make a star here as they have great chemistry. Really played up well. As, uh, yeah, I mean, good stuff. Good stuff there. The 60 for Kotor Suzuki and Yuki Tanasaki. As Tanasaki with the Casanova, another upset. Back to back upsets. Naoki Tanasaki over Katoru Suzuki. A lot of upsets so far. I kind of went upset heavy. But, uh, you know, I just felt like this junior division could use some wins for a lot of guys to really elevate them. As the time limit draw, 30 minutes elapses and there's no winner. As, uh, yeah, I mean, Ishimori outperformed him, but they both get one point each coming out of that. And that was a 69. It's a 60 main event. At Tsuchiyoki losing to Daisuke Arata. It's pretty close, though. I mean, there's only one point difference. It's the Arata Pistol in 22-31. Huge win, though, for Daisuke Arata, and he's had a couple of big wins so far. 61, thanks to the 60 main event. Uh, you know, obviously, hindsight, uh, you know, really block B. This was their <laughs> night, because, uh, uh, you know, Kyle O'Reilly, Ricky Marvin was the best match of block B, it looks like. Just kind of nuts. Actually, it was Kushida and Alex Bain, and it was a 67. Uh, so that was... I guess we could have flipped, really, Daisuke Arata and Atsushi Yoki with Kushida and Alex Payne. 
just uh, this uh, this division's so tough to really book and figure out because there's so many great guys and you don't really know what's going to happen as far as uh, chemistry boost too. A lot, lots going on, and uh, it's it's very exciting though. Very very exciting. Luckily, we're not losing pop or anything. On to day four, which uh, you know should be a pretty fun show. Uh, you know Yoshinobu Kanemura versus Taiji Shimori is probably going to be the main event. Got a lot of good stuff though on that night. It's looking like it's looking like it's going to be a pretty fun show. As uh, you know, yeah. I, can you imagine though if Yoshitone was in this instead of Taiji Shimori, this would have been far far uh, less uh, superior than what it is now. As Bobby Roode and Brock Lesnar are going to have a feud. And yep, and uh, we're gonna <laughs> gotta wait two days. It's on to day four we go. All right, so yeah, we already know the the main event: Yoshinobu Kanemura and Taiji Shimori. Where we can run. It's at least been a while. Wow, we're even getting oversaturated in Osaka. This is crazy. As uh, probably 1,600 is probably our best bet here. Kyushu. As uh, assuming there's not a 1,600 venue, it's probably just a bunch of 1,500s. Well, 1,650. There we go. I'll be damned. So, yeah, Yoshinibu Kanemura, Taiji Shimori. Ishimori's gonna get the win, though. And that will be as far as where he's at in the standings after that. As far as he will be at five points. So, it all depends on what Zack Sabre Jr. is doing. He might have the lead, obviously, as well as Prince Devitt. As, or, as well, obviously, you know, depends between those two. He'll be, uh, you know... Just outside the picture, if I had to guess, because obviously I'm assuming Devitt will be getting the win. But so far, Robbie Fish and Ada, which is zero points. Tough start for those two men. And uh, Ricky Martin, Ricky Marvin and uh, Kakanuma have zero points as well. So, four people uh, have any points so far in three days of uh, Global Junior League action. We'll see if that will change. So, yeah, then probably Taguchi and Aoki. Sayoki will be getting the win after losing to Daisuke Arata. Let's go Devitt and Yuki Tanasaki. Yeah, Devitt's going to get the win there. Zack Sabre Jr. and Kotor Suzuki. As Kotor Suzuki is going to beat Zack Sabre Jr. stopping his skid of wins. The streak is over for Zack Sabre Jr. They had 28 minutes. That's a long time. We'll see, though. We'll see if it pays off. Really want to do, you know, Tiger Mask and Kushida. Kushida's going to beat Tiger Mask. That's so far, this night is already... I'm just going to go ahead and make this a three-hour show. Because uh, the way we have a lot of these matches, there's just a lot of marquee matches happening on this show. Yeah, and then... Uh, yeah, I guess, yeah, then probably Kyle and Roderick. That's going 23 minutes. This Kyle's going to get the win. Alex Payne and Kakanuma. We'll just, I'm assuming that will be the opener. As Alex Payne's going to be Kakanuma. Kakanuma's a little upset by that. Makes sense. This is probably going to be his first loss where he kind of didn't deserve it. Bobby Fish is super crazy. Bobby Fish is going to beat super crazy. It's a big win for Bobby Fish. Harada and Ricky Marvin. As Garada keeps it going, beating Ricky Marvin there. As in Edwards, the great Sasuke. As Sasuke's going to beat Eddie Edwards, which that makes sense there from that perspective. It's just one minute shy. We would have had to make it even a, a bigger show. Let's just... Oh. There we go. Yeah, I mean, this is a crazy night of, of matches for sure. Um, we'll just look and see. There's a hero. All right. Damn it. So if we get lucky, this is going to be like finding a, a needle in a haystack now. It's going to keep on clicking until we find... There we go. Luckily, it was... That far up. All right, so let's run the show. It's Alex Payne beats Kakanuma, and yep, uh, Kakanuma outperformed him. Alex Payne, though, that's a nice win as he gets the one to sweet spot in 12:55. Poor Kakanuma. It's a 52 opener. It's a 56 for Bobby Fish. Was super crazy as uh, Bobby Fish probably shouldn't have gotten the win, especially with a Manhattan drop. A weak ass finish <laughs> for Bobby Fish. I have to change his finishers. As, uh, 56 for Ricky Marvin and Daisuke Arata. I don't know what happened with Daisuke Arata here. You're getting a 47. I'm just kind of curious. Holding back inconsistency and stamina. Oof. Not great. 
Ricky Mara is also holding back. He has damage issues too, huh? Interesting. Uh, that got a 56, though. 63 for Great Sasuke and Eddie Edwards. It's Eddie with a 54. 62 for Great Sasuke with the Thunder Firepower Bomb in 1758. A 57 for Roger Strong and Kyle O'Reilly. Wrong guy won there. As uh, should have been Kyle O'Reilly. Or should have been uh, Roger Strong. Interesting enough. I kind of want to see another holding back for Kyle and Roderick. Stop holding back. <laughs> Go all out, you bastards. As uh, 57. That was 63. For Kushida and Tiger Mask, because Kushida with a nice win as he's in the 60s, pretty much for sure now, and that's awesome to see as he gets one with Kushida lock in 2506. 67 for Kotor Suzuki and Zack Sabre Jr. Really good match here. Really good stuff. Obviously outperformed what they were doing as far as in ring wise, but great stuff. Great stuff as Kotor Suzuki with a blue destiny in 2156. It's another 67 for Prince Devin and Yuki Tanasaki. It's the diving foot stomp for Prince Devin. And 2244. It's a 63 for Rice Taguchi and Atsushi Aoki. As a close one. Could have won either way, but we went with Aoki. Taguchi's won a good bit, so at that point it was a nice little win for Atsushi Aoki to change pace for Taguchi. It's a 65. And our junior heavyweight champion bruises his tailbone. He was injured, uh, or he slowed down somewhat by the injury, but he still outperformed him. He gets the one at the Himo, Sirlio, and 2540. Nice win for Ishimori, even with the bruised tailbone. Hopefully, that's not going to affect them too much. So, yeah, I mean, again, you know, Kotor Suzuki, Zack Sabre Jr., Prince Seven, Yuki, Tanasaki did better than the main, but just that main event, it, it's tough because I think w without that injury, he, they probably would have done about the same, maybe even more. But, yeah, good stuff. Worst thing was the opener, obviously. Alex Payne Kakanuma, but a 52 is the worst thing. We've had far worse openers, uh, you know, like Roger Strong and Alex Payne. We weren't really over enough, but I think Alex Payne's probably hit that threshold now. It's a couple of big wins. We'll go through the standings. Kind of went through them somewhat, just to kind of see what was going on with Block B. Uh, but Prince Devitt, I believe, is in the lead uh, with that block. And then uh, I want to say Zach will be tied with second, and then Ishimori will be third. All right, he's not tied. You know, he'll, <laughs> he's the lone spot of second. And, uh, they are, uh, they're going, going nuts. Going nuts with that. As, oh, yeah, all right, we're going to have back-to-back -back days. So that's fun as a tournament. So, uh, block A, the standings. Uh, Daisuke Arata is in the lead with eight points. Hasn't lost yet, 4-0 so far. But there is a lot of people hot on the trail. So we got Aoki with six points. Kushida with six points. Kyle O'Reilly with six points. And Raisuke Taguchi with six points. Then Alex Payne with four, who has more points than Tiger Mask and Roger Strong and Ricky Marvin and Kakanuma, which is pretty nuts. Uh, but yeah, Ricky Marvin and, and Kakanuma with zero points. Obviously, something's got to give there. They, they got to face each other at some point, so we'll see what how that ends out. And poor Roger Strong, you know, it's kind of had a tough go of it as of late. Uh, same thing with Tiger Mask, and uh, that's uh, it's pretty nuts. Pretty nuts there. It's a uh, Block B, the only person that doesn't have a win is Eddie Edwards. Seven points for Devin. Six points for Kotor Suzuki, the great Sasuke, and Zack Sabre Jr. So that, I mean, it is wide open as far as what can happen. So it's still so much uh, action to take place for that uh, Block B. And also Taiji Shimori, the champion, with five points. Still, you know, big win there. And uh, everybody else loses somehow. He could somehow... Uh, be tied with Devitt, and obviously they'll have to have a tie break if they end up tied uh, for first, but Yoshinibu Kanemura with four points, uh, which he's lost to Ishimori, the champion, and he lost to Zack Sabre Jr., who's obviously ahead of him, and then uh, Naoki Tanasaki and Super Crazy with two points, and Bobby Fish with two points, and zero points for Eddie Edwards, which, uh, you know, he's still got to take on Bobby Fish, and he's still got to take on uh, Naoki Tanasaki as well, uh, you know, as far as as far as that goes, he lost to uh, Super Crazy, though. So that, that's a tough loss. He, that's uh, Super Crazy's only win. But still a lot, a lot of Super Junior action to go through. So we're almost at $11 million as well, which is great to see. Even rolling in the cash. And so this will be, uh, you know, for day five, a Block A main event. And I, it's, again, it's tough to really choose... I got Tiger Mask and Taguchi as far as I think that's probably going to be the best main event we can do. Knowing my luck, though, Aoki and Kyle O'Reilly will probably outperform them. 
Yeah, I mean, I think I'm still going to go with that, though, with the Tiger Mask main event. Man, oh man. That's 1,500. It will probably be... Yeah, we'll just go... Just go there. <laughs> Makes sense. Tiger Mask into Gucci. Tiger Mask going to get the win. That's a nice win for him. Beating uh, Raisuke to Gucci. In the co-main will probably be Prince Seven and Kator Suzuki, which will definitely be outperforming that main event. And Kator Suzuki with a huge win there, beating Prince Devitt. As far as their history, uh, Devitt and Kator Suzuki had a match last month uh, during the China Navigation Tour, Day Four, and Devitt lost or Devitt won rather. Uh, and they've had their you know tag matches, the Apollo Fifty Five, Aoki and uh, Kator Suzuki, the tag match, junior tag match that happened at China Navigation, and uh, Apollo Fifty Five won that. So, a nice little win for the Anti-No Mercy Union over Apollo 55. A little unhappy by that. We'll keep them strong. Good stuff there. Now for the rest of the card. This is where, I mean, kind of probably should probably put Ishimori up there. Pretty close to the top of the card. So, he's going to beat Eddie Edwards. And then Aoki, Kyle O'Reilly. Kyle's going to beat Aoki, which is pretty nuts. Uh, as far as their history, they have had uh, no singles matches against each other, just uh, junior tag matches, and Aoki Suzuki have gotten the best of Red Dragon pretty much every time they faced each other. Uh, so it's a nice win for the Red Dragon team over the Anti-No Mercy Union team. Yeah, probably Harada Roderick Strong. Roddy's going to beat Daisuke Harada. The streak is over. That's a huge win for Roddy. You'll ever see that. It's probably going to go higher. Sasuke and Yoshinibu Kanemaru. As Kanemaru beats Great Sasuke. I thought Ibusa would be the road agent for that one. And so yeah, we'll probably bump that up a little higher. Yep, there we go. As I'm just going to go ahead and change the time <laughs> to three hours again. Just to be on the safe side. As, uh, so yeah, then super crazy. And, uh, Saxe Jr. Junior. Saxe Jr. Junior. gonna get the win there. Um, it's close. Uh, but probably Kushida Kakanuma. Because Kushida's gonna beat Kakanuma. Bobby Fish, Yuki Tanasaki. The Tanasaki beating Bobby Fish. And then Alex Payne, Ricky Marvin. So Ricky Marvin gets his first win over Alex Payne. Hell yeah, it's 2 3 the time. As, uh, yep, the bruised tailbone. And Amato is refereeing a lot, it looks like. So again... Deal in a stack. There we go. Got one. So I'm just gonna go ahead and go off the top. Because I'm assuming he's repping this match. Yep. There we go. And we got it. So just Roddy and Eddie's kind of being used too much. And other than that, though, we got a pretty good show. We'll see what happens. It's a 39. God damn it. It's Ricky Marvin, though, with the Santa Maria over Alex Bain. That's just not enough. Not over enough. The 58, though, for the next match is Nuki Tanasaki with a 60. Casanova over Bobby Fish in 1350. That's a nice win for Nuki Tanasaki. It's Kushida and Kakanuma. Kushida gets the win. It's Kushida Lock in 1316. Not a great showing for Kakanuma so far in his first Global Junior League. The 61, again, Zack Sabre Jr. has great chemistry with a lot of guys, which that's awesome to see. It's the PK kick for Zack in 1311. That's a nice win. He's got a 62 now. The, the mega push for Zack Sabre Jr. has really paid off, it looks like, in this uh, Global Junior League. So, 57. Uh, it's uh, Roger Strong with the end of heartache, and he got a 48. Dice got Rada with a 56. Here he was, going on a roll, and then he gets out, and he uh, gets upset after he outperforms someone. I'm just kind of curious to see. Disinterested crowd. Interesting. It's Roddy and Dice got rolling back, and then Roddy's inconsistency. That's interesting, though. As 63 for uh, the great Sasuke and Yoshinibu Kanemaru. As uh, Sasuke losing to Yoshinibu Kanemaru, even though he outperformed him. Uh, to, it takes the fall to the deep end back in 1737. Sasuke with a 61, 58 for Yoshinibu Kanemaru. It's a 59 as uh, Eddie Edwards and Taiji Shimori don't click. Great. But Ishimori, though, gets the win. And uh, he, uh, even though he's still got the bruised tailbone or whatnot, he's still pulling away with some wins. So another 59 for Etsushi Aoki and Kyle O'Reilly as uh, Kyle outperforms him. Or Kyle gets the upset win even though he gets outperformed 
as uh, Kyle O'Reilly with the ankle lock in 23:06. Tough loss for Tsushi Aoki, but uh, you know we're trying. We're trying with Kyle O'Reilly. We're trying to push him to the top. It's a 62 for Prince Devin and Kator Suzuki as an upset again is Kator Suzuki with the Blue Destiny in 28:09 over Prince Devin. As that's a tough loss for Devin. Tough loss there. A 65 main event. And they have good chemistry, too. Hell yes. Tiger Mask with a Tiger Suplex of 9 over Rice Gate in 27 10. We just couldn't get the crowd going. But uh, I felt like it was still some good stuff on that show. Yeah, it was a 64. I think it was just that opener. We just couldn't really overcome it, I guess. But yeah, there we go. At least we had the best match going on last. Yeah, I mean, couldn't really ask for anything better. I guess we could have flipped Kenamar and Sasuke with Kotor Suzuki and Prince Devitt, but, um, you know, what can you do? <laughs> it's just kind of is what it is there. Plus, you know, I mean, that's no big deal, though. No big deal. As, uh, yeah, good show, though. As, uh, you know, five days in, you have four days left. As, uh, on to day six, as, uh, that main event will probably be Devitt and Kenamara, will be my guess. But still, some good stuff. Good stuff nonetheless. As uh, we'll see as far as the time. Uh, yep, right back. Today, six we go. We're going really back to back to back as uh, Rocky cracks his ribs. Just kind of curious to see how long Ishimori's hurt for. Five more days, all right. He's getting back, though. He'll be pretty much healthy for days, like eight and nine, pretty much. Another backstage incident. It's Roddy. And uh, Great Sasuke, as uh, Roger Kong is brought before wrestler's court, accused of being absorbed by his phone. We should have been paying attention to a locker room meeting. The judge, Great Sasuke, found him guilty and sentenced to buy a crate of beer for the locker room. It's a small positive impact there. As that, uh, let's see here, 1,500. Yeah, probably be our best bet. There we go. All right. So yeah, we've pretty much been, I guess, everywhere, but now, you know, we're going to deal with, uh, well, no, we still got one more place to go before everything else is, uh, just by oversaturating the area. So yeah, uh, you know, Devitt and Yoshinibu Kanemaru, the main event, Devitt with, uh, the win, that's going to be, uh, you know, as far as that goes, that's going to be a big win for Prince Devitt. As far as the co-main, what will be a block a uh, co-main event. Man, we got a lot of interesting stuff, but really nothing that's... I guess Roderick Strong and Kushida, maybe? I think that's probably going to be it. Roddy's going to get the win over Kushida. What a huge upset for Roderick Strong. Wow. Yeah, that's crazy. Uh, we might give that more time, too. Give it uh, 19. There we go. As, uh, as far as probably Zack Sabre Jr. Great Sasuke, which was definitely going to outperform that co-main event. And Zack's going to beat Sasuke in an awesome little match that should be. Yep, and then probably Harada and Kyle O'Reilly. As Harada's going to beat Kyle. Then we probably are going to do... Yeah, it's tough. Probably Kotori Suzuki. Super crazy. Super crazy is going to beat Kotor Suzuki? What in the world? That's nuts. Uh, that might be a little too crazy. <laughs> there. We're just going to have Kotor Suzuki get the win. I mean, we kind of went a little too upset crazy on that one. Yeah, we could do Aoki and Kakanuma, I guess. So Aoki's going to beat Kakanuma. Yeah, Bobby Fish, Ted Ishimori. Ishimori's going to get the win. Tiger Mask, Ricky Marvin. So Tiger Mask going to beat Ricky Marvin. Eddie Edwards and Yuki Tanasaki. Tanasaki's going to beat Eddie Edwards. Alex Payne. And Raisuke Taguchi's the opener. Taguchi going to get the win. Yep. Going to be... I don't think 230 is going to cut it. Yep. I was about to say, I don't think it's going to cut it. We could cut some time, I guess, from Tiger Mask and, uh... Yeah, and then Ricky Marvin. To make it fit. Steal the show. Here we go. Here we go. Yeah, that's a little better. And we, we're good on as far as that goes. Just Ricky Marvin and Roderick Strong. Ah, 
I know. I'm gonna swap it. <laughs> swap it with Kyle and uh, Harada. I just got a feeling. So 52. Oh, they don't click. And it's pretty close. As uh, Taguchi gets the one with the Dodon, though, in 1141. Good thing that kicked off the show. It's a 57 for Nuki Tanasaki and Ada Edwards. As a Casanova for Nuki Tanasaki in 1304. Gets the win there. It's a 61 uh, for Tiger Mask with Ricky Marvin. Pretty close, though. 57 56. Just kind of curious to see. Folding back and stamina for both guys. It's a 69 for Ishimori and Bobby Fish. Really underestimated how that match would have done. As uh, the Hermosilio for Ishimori. He gets the win in 1806. It's a 58 for Atsushi, at, for Atsushi Aoki and Kakanuma. As uh, it's close. Poor Kakanuma, man. It just keeps on getting outperformed just slightly. As uh, the assault point of 1403. Enough selling shell. It's a 67 for Kotor Suzuki and Super Crazy. Kotor Suzuki with the Blue Destiny in 1411. Yeah. Didn't need an upset there for Super Crazy. It's Kushida losing to Roderick Strong with the Gibson Driver in 1849. We're trying with Roderick Strong. Just can't really get it together. <laughs> Hopefully, eventually it will work. They don't click. God damn it. A 51 Komei has a great Sasuke beats Zack Sabre Jr. Actually, no, it's not the Komei, thank God. As uh, Zack beating uh, great Sasuke there. Even though it gets so really outperformed, I figured so, but that's a nice win, though, for Zack, even though it's just chemistry kind of fucked up. Daisuke Arata beating Kyle O'Reilly. Really am regretting the Daisuke Arata push, because he was doing so well, but he's really peaked, it felt like, whereas Kyle was really elevated, and other guys are really elevated compared to what he's done so far. Even Zack Sabre Jr. is elevated, I felt like, throughout this Junior Heavyweight uh, Global League. But a 74 main event, I don't know how we did it, but thank God it happened. As Prince Devitt beats Yoshinima Kanemaru with the Prince Throne in 24-28. Definitely the best match of the tournament so far. And a great show to uh, cap off with a great main event. Yeah, we really got lucky with a Zack Sabre Jr. great Sasuke match. I, I mean, that was the, literally the worst thing on the card because of the chemistry. A couple of bad chemistries, but uh, yeah, I mean, it still was pretty good stuff. Obviously, again, really should have be putting Ishimori higher on the card. I need to r really hammer that home, but most of the time it's just matches where I'm like, it's established, you know, it's like he's 20, 30 points better than the guy. So it's like, why, you know, put it so high, but I need to really do that, though. As yeah, we'll uh, go through the standings as far as where we are at on this. Uh, we, uh, we should see. We shall see. Uh, but hopefully... Everything works out, uh, but uh, hopefully, as far as that goes, we have a, a still a, a solid end to this global junior very tag league. Because so f our junior heavyweight global league, rather Jesus, as uh, yeah, we got eight days away, so we got a big while to go after the back-to-back -back shows. But Desgarada in first place with ten points still has to face Kushida. Ricky Marvin and Roger Strong. We'll see how he finishes. As far as, uh, I don't know, I was looking at, <laughs> at Sushioki. He's uh, got to take on Alex Payne. He's got to take on uh, Raisuke Taguchi and Tiger Mask. It's not as big as a uh, ending, but, you know, Kushida, Kyle O'Reilly, and Raisuke Taguchi and Sushioki are on his tail. And the scene, who can win block A? It is a five-man race, and that's awesome to see. Roger Strong and Tiger Mask with six. Alex Payne with four. And Ricky Marvin with two. And Kakanuma with zero points. He's still got Taguchi, Ricky Marvin, and Roger Strong. Maybe he can have a win there to uh, at least get some points on the board. As for Block B, we have two people with ten points. Katori Suzuki and Zack Sabre Jr. Taiji Shimori and Prince Devitt have nine points. So it's more of a four-person race over here on Block B. Uh, we, we have uh, Naoki Tanasaki and Great Sasuke with six points, as is Yoshinipa Kanemaru. Six, uh, two points, rather, for uh, Super Crazy and Bobby Fish, and then zero points still for Eddie Edwards, who's got to take on Bobby Fish, Yoshinipa Kanemaru, and Katora Suzuki. As far as his match is left, yeah, I mean, it, it, I think it's really been a pretty fun global junior league, though. Uh, it's been so many fun upsets. Uh, we're trying to make some guys. Some have worked out, like... Uh, you know, Zack Sabre Jr. 
But some haven't really worked out, like Daisuke Arata, but uh, there's still a lot of time left to, to see what happens. Three shows left, and uh, then obviously we'll have the final show happening, which is a Great Osaka, uh, the Great Voyage of Osaka Volume 4. So yeah, as uh, we'll uh, on to <laughs> Day 7. we got a long while wait here for these eight days. It's day 7 of the Global Junior League, which will be a Block A main event. And so I'm thinking it's probably going to be Taguchi and Kushida, which... What a fun match that is, as far as, you know, obviously they become partners and they go through a hell of a run in uh, New Japan during, or, well, a little bit after this time in 2012, it really, really, like, 2013, 2014, but still, like, it's just kind of crazy. This is kind of, like, time splitters time, more so than, uh, Taguchi and Kushida, but, man... Uh, that's, that's still very, very fun to be able to do this match. And that would made of it a Global Junior League match, or Global Junior League show. So Kushida's going to get the win, though, beating Raisuke Taguchi. So the nice win for Kushida. Then for a Black B co-main, probably Zack Sabre Jr. and Taiji Shimori. And what do you know? Zack Sabre Jr. is going to beat the Junior Heavyweight Champion after losing... Back at uh, the future, uh, the navigation to the future, and uh, I think that's as far as the only single matches they've had against each other. Another guy who's lost to Ishimori earlier in the year and now is going to get his revenge back, much like Katoru Suzuki did. So he's got a future title shot just with that win there, and as a big time win. As far as the rest of the card, you know, uh, Daisuke Rada Tiger Mask looks pretty good, obviously. Probably Devitt Sasuke, though. Uh, that is pretty awesome. Devitt's going to get the win. And then we'll do Harada and Tiger Mask, which Harada's going to beat Tiger Mask. I don't know how I feel about that, but it's uh, it's been decided. It's Alex Payne, Kyle O'Reilly. Ah, we probably won't add that for a while, to be honest. I'm thinking about it. That's tough, but I think Super Crazy and Yuki Tanasaki is probably our best bet. I'm just going to let the game decide on that one. I thought that was going to be pretty fun. Let the game figure that one out. As Edwards and Yoshinipa Kanemaru. Kanemaru's going to get the win. We might bump that up, actually. Yeah. And now, we'll just get a Kator Suzuki Bobby Fish. Bobby Fish is going to get the win. I... Oh, I don't know about all that, Chief. That's crazy. I was going to have Kator Suzuki lose to both Super Crazy and Bobby Fish. Maybe just we'll keep the Bobby Fish upset, though. Just maybe. That's Roderick Strong and Kakanuma. Kakanuma's gonna get his first win over Roderick Strong. How about that? And Aoki and Ricky Marvin. Aoki's gonna beat Ricky Marvin. And Alex Payne Kyle O'Reilly, which will be a little bit later on. Because I gotta rearrange this whole deal. So yeah, we're quite over on time. So we're just gonna go ahead and make it a three-hour show. So yeah, Bobby Fish, Couture, Suzuki, we can switch there. There, and, uh, actually put it there. Good stuff. All right, so that is the show. Looks like we're good on that, Ricky Marvin. It's always two people <laughs> that are used too much. We'll see what happens. As uh, Roger Sean Kakanuma. Kakanuma gets a win in 12.50. First time in this Global Junior League. That's a 58. That was not bad. As a 60 for Kyle O'Reilly and Alex Payne. Skyle gets the win with the ankle lock at 13.55, and Alex Payne's kind of getting a little, little bad. That stuff has a sprained ankle for Super Crazy, losing to Nuki Tanasaki uh, as he gets the win with the Casanova in 12.22. That's a 54. That's a tough sprained ankle. That was 60 for Kator Suzuki and Bobby Fish. So I don't know why. Bobby Fish. Manhattan drop at 17.15. I hate it. Let's keep it rolling. 62 says both guys with 57s. So that's that's pretty interesting. As Aoki with uh, being off his game caused that as he gets the one with the assault point though in 1843. It's a 58. It's and Edwards. They don't click at all. Makes for an awkward battle. And Kanemaru's off his game. It's a real shit show, but somehow gets a 58 out of it. Uh, Kanemaru gets the one with the deep impact in 1824. Dice Rada beating Tiger Mask with the Rada pistol in 1836. Yep, <laughs> we'll just keep it rolling. It's a 62 for Tiger Mask, 56 for Daisuke Arata. 
So 70, though, for Prince Devitt and the Great Sasuke as Devitt with Prince as Throne and 22-22. As, uh, that's a big one for Devitt. Keeps it rolling as another great Kim... I already knew that one, though. But uh, Ishimori losing to Zack Sabre Jr. to the PK kick in 23-21. A huge win for Zack, nonetheless. Beating the current junior heavyweight champion. And he'll get a future title shot no matter what happens in this global league. As Kushida beats Raisuke Taguchi in 23 minutes with Kushida locked. Even though he gets outperformed by one point. Fun main event, though, a 66. And uh, obviously Devin and Sasuke probably should have been the main there. But uh, it was, you know, they uh, it was a Block B match. So it couldn't be a main event for a Block A show. But, uh, you know, still some good stuff, though, nonetheless. I, I think that made event was the third best match on the card. I stand by it, you know. Just, uh, pretty fun, though. Devin and Great Sasuke did a 70. Pretty great. As on to day eight we go, as we'll be looking at basically the standings going into this night, and then, uh, well, actually, kind of before the show runs, and then we'll look at it afterwards to go into the final night of the round robin stuff. As, uh, let's see, going on, okay, just people are coming back. Yep, two days away, so be there <laughs> for day eight. As day eight, and it's a Block B main event. As far as what will be the main, probably Ishimori grade Sasuke. So that's fun. Uh, we'll see. I want to keep, well, we'll be running Osaka pretty soon. I think I want to keep Kanto... For uh, day nine, I want to say. Because I think that, that's going to be a pretty fun night. We'll kind of go elsewhere with day eight here. Even though this should be a pretty fun main event. Yeah, 1,462. Works for me. We can just go with 1,500, I'm sure. Oh, we're going to have a, a guaranteed sellout. Sure. There we go. As, uh... Yeah, the Ishimori, Great Sasuke. Just... It's so awesome that I could book the Great Sasuke in 2012 and he somehow, like, does great in this mod. Uh, it's just very, very funny. As Ishimori gets the win. As uh, Before we get to that, though, we'll look at the standings. So, yeah, now, Dice Guy Rada, he's uh, hanging on still. He's uh, got Aoki, Kushida, and Kyle O'Reilly out on the trail. And I uh, will say this, Kushida and Kyle O'Reilly is a match on day 9. So that is going to be very, very big. And also, Daisuke Arata's taking on Taguchi on day 9 as well. So just kind of thinking ahead. As far as for day 8, uh, Kyle's taking on Tiger Mask. Kushida is taking on Aoki. So that's a big time match. And then Harada's got Alex Payne, which unless an upset happens, uh, we should have a pretty... It will come down to a bit of a three-man race. As for uh, Block B, it is a three-man race over there. Uh, you know, I guess it really depends. Maybe, you know, as far as Ishimori, he's going to have 11 points by the end of this. But still, a lot's got to go wrong. Zack's got to take on Nuki Tanasaki and Prince Devitt still, which that's happening on day nine, Devitt and Zack Sabre Jr. So that's a big-time match. That's a big implications for Block B. And a uh, Katora Suzuki. Is still trying to hang on. He's got Eddie Edwards and Yoshiniba Kanemaru left, though. So we'll we'll see how that one plays out. As far as uh, yeah, Nuki Tanisaki, though, with eight points is pretty cool to see. He kind of came out of nowhere. Got a lot of wins here, kind of mid, uh, you know, towards the mid or later rounds of the the shows. And now he's got eight. Might finish with ten, maybe even twelve. Because he's got Ishimori and well, he's probably not gonna finish with more because he got Ishimori and Zack Sabre Jr. That's a lot of. A lot of matches, to, a lot of big time matches there, but yeah, Ishimori with a big win over Sasuke. Co-main will probably be thinking Kyle and Tiger Mask. And Aoki and Kushida though is there as well. I think it's probably gonna probably be Aoki Kushida. As Kushida is gonna beat Aoki, which has now turned that into a three person race with Kushida looking to win Block A. I'm just gonna we'll go through Alex Payne and want you know. <laughs> well, this has just changed things in a drastic measure. Alex Payne gets the upset win over Daisuke Arata. What a final show this will be <laughs> for day nine here. My god, this has been opened up. And uh, Kyle O'Reilly Tiger Mask. 
Kyle's gonna beat Tiger Mask. Naoki Tanasaki, Zack Sabre Jr. Zack Sabre Jr. is gonna beat Naoki Tanasaki there. Which I don't know. Uh, that might that might be changed. Uh, you know, because really, because it's still as far as uh, yeah, that might might have to be changed. Because now it's kind of it'd be basically impossible for like Devitt to. Well, no, it wouldn't be impossible because it'd be 13, 14 going into the final night. So yeah, it'd still be. It, it could still, no matter what happens, if it's going to be Zach winning or Devitt winning, it's still down to one final match. So yeah, uh, so we'll keep that going. So we'll flip that down now to there. So yeah, Bobby Fish Kanemaru, I guess. We'll just kind of work our way from the top down. It looks like it's probably for the best. It's Edwards and Kotor Suzuki. Kotor Suzuki beating Eddie Edwards. Uh, Kakanuma and Taguchi. Taguchi's going to beat Kakanuma there. Devin Super Crazy. Devin's going to beat Super Crazy. As oh, Super Crazy's injury. We'll be taking him out of action. Yeah, I think we'll have Nozawa just fill in for him. <laughs> I know that's kind of weird to, to do. But uh, <laughs> we kind of don't have a choice. Because, uh, yeah, we, we need it. We need these matches to happen for it to make sense as uh, we'll replace Super Crazy with the now returning Nozawa, which that match has now gotten pretty awesome in Devin and Nozawa. So we'll bump that way the fuck up here. We're just kind of switching everything around here. Kind of want to keep this about right here, to be honest. I'm going to bump this down to about 13. Just kind of going all over the place. I want to give that more time. Alex Payne and Daisuke Arata. Which might be a mistake. But it's a pretty big marquee match. To have happened. And so. We'll now set that for regular. And we'll now set this for seal the show. There we go. So. Change that now to Nozawa. Alright. Yeah, that's fine. I think we got it ready to go here. Obviously, we got to change time, which we'll do, and uh, we'll obviously have to add the rest of the match as well. Only if we'll just go ahead and make that three, because we still have two. Oh, we well, just got one match rest left, rather. Oh my God! As uh, Roger Strong beating Ricky Marvin there. So I guess we don't need this to have it. Oh, we'll just have that be a regular match, I guess. So it's not back-to-back -back crazy matches. All right. So just yet, yeah, and everything's good to go. What a show. Let's run it. So 40, as they don't click, and they didn't have any pop, but Roger Strong gets the win with the Gibson Driver in 1037. So 58 for Kakanuma and, Roger, and uh, Raisuke Taguchi, rather, as uh, the Dodon for Raisuke Taguchi at 1259. That gets a 58. So 64 for Kotor Suzuki at Eddie Edwards, as uh, Blue Destiny for Kotor Suzuki at 1848. The 60 for Yoshinibu Kanemaru and Bobby Fish. It's Kanemaru with the deep impact in 1639. Ooh, a 49. Yeah. Yep, yeah, that just... One of the worst matches we will have. And uh, just really inconsistency and holding back between those two really hurt that one. But Alex Payne with a huge upset over Dice Garada, and that has opened up block A for sure. It's a 65 for Devin and Ozawa. God damn, it's Devitt with the Prince's Throne in 1749. It has a 61 for Zack and Naoki Tanasaki as uh, Zack Sabre Jr. with the Sabre Driver in 1904. It's a 58 for uh, Tiger Mask and Kyle O'Reilly. Kyle O'Reilly and Tiger Mask did the same. It's pretty cool. They both did 59s. The 61 for Kushida and Atsushi Aoki as Kushida with Kushida Lock in 2210. Big win there for Kushida. And a 65 for Ishimori and Sasuke as uh, Ishimori with the Hemo Silio in 2355 over the Great Sasuke. Only a two point difference there. As a 64, obviously, the you know, should have won with my gut and had Alex Payne Dice go out of way further down on the card, but you know, I, I still stand by it because it, it still was pretty awesome upset nonetheless. Uh, but yeah, uh, this has turned into quite. The tournament, as uh, you know, Block A's wide open, Block B's down to whoever wins between Devitt and Zack Saber Jr. 
But we got a lot of big names left for Block A. You know, Kushida, Kyle O'Reilly, that's a big-time matchup. Uh, Daisuke Ryan and Raisuke Taguchi, so still a big-time matchup. And, you know, we got a lot going on. And, uh, yeah, the, definitely those three matches are uh, playing a big-time factor. And, yeah, we're going right into it. As, uh, I'm not sure, okay, I just want to make sure. As well, just got to look at the standings here. A four, or a three-way tie, rather, for first place is Kushida, Daisuke Rada, and Kyle O'Reilly. Obviously, we're going to have a, a, a winner between Kushida and Kyle O'Reilly, and Daisuke has beaten both Kushida and Kyle O'Reilly, so if he just wins, he just got to beat Daisuke Taguchi. That's easier said than done, though. Uh, he will win the block, and then whoever wins between Kushida and Kyle O'Reilly, if Daisuke Arata loses there. So then for block B, of course, it's just down to Brent Devitt and to Zack Sabre Jr. As, uh, I guess, unless for some... I mean, there's, there's no other way of going about it. Because if Devitt wins, it's 15. If it's a draw or a win for Zack, he's got 15 or 16, and just no one will catch him at that point. So, I mean, that's a... Hell of a, a tournament so far for Zack Sabre Jr. He's only lost to Kotor Suzuki, and if he can get a win over Prince Devitt and uh, shock the world, that could be quite the, the Global League final. So just potentially, I mean, this has been quite the the Global Junior League for the foreigners, because we got Kyle, we got Devitt, and Zack, and then you have uh, Daisuke Rada and Kushida. But this is definitely, I mean, we might have a Gaijin Gaijin finals uh, when it's all said and done. We shall see, though, right now for day nine. Oh, and Jinju Stadium, too. That's awesome. All right. Yeah, I mean, this is a big-time finals. Uh, at least a final of the round robin. We'll have Zack and Prince Devitt be the co-main. Prince Devitt will be advancing to the finals. as uh, or He'll be advancing winning block B there. And block A winner is going to be Daisuke Arata. It will not be Daisuke Arata. Raisuke Taguchi is going to beat Daisuke in 23 minutes. So that's going to go before that. It's the main event, Kushida, Kyle O'Reilly. Of course, these two men turn out to have amazing matches in the future. And we are going to give it to Kyle O'Reilly. So he's going to beat Kushida. And it's going to be Kyle O'Reilly versus Prince Devitt. Gaijin versus Gaijin finals. Pretty fun. As, uh, now, for the rest of the card, kind of doesn't really matter. Uh, it's, uh, yeah, we'll do Ishimori and Yuki Tanasaki as Ishimori's going to get the win there. And Kanemaru and Katora Suzuki as Kanemaru's going to beat Katora Suzuki. Yeah, Roger Strong, Aoki. Aoki's going to get the win there. Super crazy great Sasuke. Sasuke's going to beat... Oh, that's right. It's going to be Nozawa now. That's right. Which I imagine is now even... Awesome, as uh, Sasuke's going to beat... Actually, we're going to have no Zawa beat Sasuke. Sorry, Sasuke. But, uh, oh, <laughs> it kept on the whole time. I'm like, what's going on? <laughs> there we go. As, uh, we'll probably bump that up a little bit now. About there. Ah, <laughs> uh, we can bump that there, too. Alright, so, uh, Kakanuma Ricky Marvin's definitely the opener. We'll just let the game decide there. Alex Payne and... Tiger Mask. So Alex Payne's going to beat Tiger Mask. I'm sure he is furious by that. Yep, and then Bobby Fish, Eddie Edwards. Eddie's going to beat Bobby Fish. Bobby Fish is a little upset by that. We'll keep him strong. There we go. So, I uh, just got to change the time to a three-hour show. But what a show this was. What a tournament this was. As, uh, yep, everything's still good. Just, uh, Brock Strong being slightly used more. Alright. Kakanuma's gonna beat Ricky Marvin there. Pretty close, though, 62-60. Uh, Ricky Marvin with the slight in-ring performance. But that doesn't get the win, though, as Kakanuma gets the win. It's a 53 for Eddie Edwards and Bobby Fish. Definitely should've been the opener now, but... That's alright, that's the chin checker for Eddie Edwards in 12:36. He outperformed Bobby Fish, I don't know why Bobby Fish was... Making a big deal of it. As a quick cradle for Alex Pin. For Alex Payne, rather, Jesus. As a quick cradle for Alex Payne. Well, let's say Tiger Mask goes for the Tiger Driver. Alex Payne lands on his feet instead of going through the Tiger Driver. Just a quick inside roll up. 
and uh, just a, a quick little cradle, and uh, seals one over Tiger Mask. Tiger Mask is pissed <laughs> on that last night as a 71. For Atsushioki and Roderick Strong is the assault point for Atsushioki at 17.04. It's a 66. For Sasuke, what the fuck knows, Owl? We, you give this great opportunity, and you waste it. By not being off your game, Sasuke should have won. Should have known better. It's a 71 for Ishimori and Yuki Tanasaki. As Ishimori with a 73.59 for Yuki Tanasaki. It's a little too short for an important match in the eyes of the audience. It's a 69 for Kotoro Suzuki. And Yoshinibu Kanemaru, again, lack of selling on display. Kotoro Suzuki probably should have won, but that's all right, though. Deep impact for Yoshinibu Kanemaru at 23.39. Oh, as a 56 for Taguchi and Dodon. Or uh, for Taguchi and Daisuke Arata, as Taguchi wins with the Dodon at 22.50. They don't click. Luckily, it wasn't that big of a deal, because hopefully we can get it back. With this match here, and it absolutely kills, as Prince Devitt beats Zack Sabre Jr. He's going on to the finals to take on... Kyle O'Reilly, as uh, Kyle outperforms Kushida, the right guy wins. So we got a Gaijin, Gaijin finals. It's Kyle and Prince Devitt. 40,000 people here in Jinju Stadium. And uh, what a fun show. We lost Pop. Never mind, it wasn't a fun show. Definitely should have just said fuck it and have Devitt main event. But that's okay. Uh, that's that's alright. As uh, Yeah, we just... Should not have stuck with the traditional schedule and said fuck it and put Devin and Zach on last, but that's that's all right. That is okay. That's uh, who to put over here? Um, obviously Devin, you know he's great. And uh, we could put over Katoru Suzuki and uh, Taiji Shimori, I guess. Man, that sucks though. Losing Pop like that when we just gained Pop into Big. Fuck, but uh, we'll gain it back, though. Uh, now that we have the uh, Global League, the Global Junior League is over. And so I can't wait to see what happens. And uh, this has been quite... Uh, we already know what's going to happen as far as we got Devitt and Kyle for the finals of the Global Junior League. And the winner, of course, will take on Taiji Shimori. And so I think we've made, like, over a million. Yeah, made over a million just in this month alone. Uh, we'll probably make even more after the Great Voyage in Osaka show. Plus, i got to figure out kind of what else I want on the card as well. So, take a break. And, uh, obviously, with the, the simming, so it, it's it's going to be seamless. But uh, we'll go on to day uh, to uh, the Great Voyage in Osaka Volume 4 show. As we'll cook up that card. And, uh, hopefully, it's a banger. Fingers fucking crossed. All right, so... After that show, we entered a cooling down period and we're in a shock phase and because we have fallen to beat him because of one show. So that was fun to be big size for a month. So now, uh, that's that's great. And it, that's just great. As we can't go back to big for another six months and we can't, uh, for at least up to a month, we'll be unable to gain any popularity through the shows. So that's fine. Just great. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Global Junior League. Uh, but uh, yeah, I think, obviously, we're going to have the Global League coming afterwards, so we wouldn't really be gaining a lot of pop anyways between those months, but it still sucks, nonetheless. Because, uh, yeah, I mean, we were so... I mean, we were just right there. We had it. We did our goal. And of course, just had to have one show. We're in all. But obviously, we have come quite a long ways anyways. We're plus 10 just within the year so that's great but uh it just would have been nice to stay in big for a little bit longer that's uh that's the way she goes though as for the card looks like this we're gonna have a ghc tag team title match as the main event laughter seven katsura shibata and kazuchi sakuraba against the kings of wrestling as uh you know this is a rematch from i want to say it was another great voyage show that happened in june uh, Shabbat and Sakuraba against the Kings Wrestling, which led into Hero versus Shibata, but now it's for a JT tag team title match. And uh, you know, can Shibata become a you know heavyweight and tag champ, or will the Kings of Wrestling retain? Uh, it should be very fun. Obviously, whoever wins this, you know, let's say Hero or Claudio beats Shibata, that's a lot of momentum going into the Global League. So you have that to play into a factor. Obviously, Kyle O'Reilly and Prince Devitt, it's the co-mains, the Global Junior League Finals. As Gaijin versus Gaijin, <laughs> it's pretty fun. 
as the uh, GHC Junior Heavyweight title matchup, our, our first or two title matches on this card. So obviously Suzuki beat Ishimori during the Global Junior League, and he gets his title match. It's happening right now, so that's a big time match for Katoru Suzuki. See if he can beat Taiju Ishimori, or will Ishimori continue this crazy reign of his? The Muscle Bombers is Kenta Yoshiro Takayama. Obviously, this was the match that kind of was dealt due to the previous Great Void Show, as there was the singles matches between the two teams, and now they're gonna have a tag match as the Muscle Bombers versus Kenta and Yoshiro Takayama. Six-man tag next, Strong Pillars of Violence, Strong Big Japan, and Masato Tanaka against Diamond Ring. It's Katsuka Nakajima, Kento Miyahara, and Keno. It's Naomi Shimara Fuji versus Shuji Shikawa. As a, the match that was a pre-show match on the last Great Voyage show, and now it's going to be on the main show. Kind, uh, it's a Kushida and Kendo Cash in a Blaster 7 against Momo no Shinshin Tag. Evatsushi Kitoge. And Daisuke Arata. Obviously, Kushida and Kendo Cash have terrible chemistry. This would have probably been a lot higher on the card, but here it is. Uh, yeah, that's they've had one match before. It was during the junior global junior heavyweight tag league, tag global league. Jesus Christ! Uh, but uh, that should be it, yeah, as far as obviously it's not going to be as good as it could have been. But it's a fun match though to, to at least put on the card here. Rice Kataguchi and Bobby Fish is opening the show because we're doing, you know, Kyle and Prince David figured it would make a little bit more sense to do Taguchi and Bobby Fish as well in a singles match, even though it's pretty one-sided. But that is the card, and uh, we got it pre-booked, so we'll just go ahead and get this show on the road. Obviously, we're not going to be in Jinju Stadium. We'll be in Osaka for this one. 43,000. Not sure how many people we could have. So that's, that's a little... To 15 to 45. Yep, just Osaka Castle Hall. Figured so. Figured so. So, yeah, uh, so main event Sakuraba Shibata, Laughter 7. I forgot to change Sakuraba's picture. For some reason, every time I loan him, he doesn't have a picture. Not sure why. <laughs> but it, it's really, it's a real big pain. And uh, I think we always use this one. There we go. So, uh, yeah, so back to this. Sakuraba and Shibata. Kings Wrestling. Kings Wrestling will win as uh, Claudia's going to beat Sakuraba. And uh, they will retain their championships. And we're going to have Kyle and Prince Devitt. Global League, uh, Global Junior League Finals. As Devitt's going to win. He will be your 2012 winner of the Global Junior League. And he's going on to the finals, which, uh, as far as I'm <laughs> going back to, uh, the last winner was Katsuki Nakajima. So we've already we got Kenamara, got Nakajima, now Prince Devin, the first Gaijin to win it. Would have happened either way. <laughs> would have been uh, history would have been made. And so then on to the uh, Muscle Bomb, or actually no, the Junior Heavyweight matchup rather. I almost forgot it. it's right here. Katoru Suzuki, Taiji Shimori, and it will be Ishimori. So Ishimori versus Prince Devitt will be a, a GHC Junior Heavyweight title matchup to end out the year. Uh, just kind of crazy we're already at the end of the year. As obviously we'll have the Global League and then it'll be the end of the year. Uh, just before you know it. As uh, then we're going to have the Muscle Bombers, Kenton, Yoshiro, Takayama. Muscle Bombers will be winning as Takayama will be losing to Morishima. Uh, this was obviously a rematch between the two teams back in July at the Great Voyage of Osaka Volume 3. The Muscle Bombers won. And they went on to become the GHC Tag Team Champions, which, of course, they lost to the Kings of Wrestling. But nice big win there for the Muscle Bombers. And the sixth man of Strong Pillars of Violence versus Diamond Ring. Daisuke's going to beat Keno there. I'm excited to see how Daisuke does. He, they, they've been doing really well, Strong Big Japan, but obviously because, I think, because of chemistry boost. It's Mara Fuji and Shuji Shikawa. So Mara Fuji's going to beat Shuji Shikawa here in 22 minutes. And Kushida and Keno and Kendo Cash in against Momo Sushin Tag. Which uh, went during the Junior Boy Tag League. Uh, Momo no Sushin Tag will, uh, beat Kendo Cash and Kushida, so they're now going to be one and one. So Kushida's going to get that win over Daisuke Arata in the opener. Taguchi and Bobby Fish, as Taguchi's going to beat Bobby Fish, and that's set for Steel the Shell. Seeing how the booking. Oh, so it's Shinichi Shinagi. Oh, wow. He's uh, reffing a lot, it looks like. And I. I We'll just go ahead and change that. I don't think he had this. Oh. See? 
Must be main event, in, or must be ref in the main. Yep. Uh, the Yam Yamamoto do it. Oh. Now he's still too much. Wow. Let's see if it's. Yep. He had the, also the uh, the co-main as well. Yeah, I bet that was a lot on the plate there. As far as what's going to be the pre-show, I'll do a tag match probably. As, uh, yeah, I mean, maybe Zack. I'm not sure what to do with Zack as far as a tag match. We'll probably won't do that. Yeah, we could use Speed Muscle. Ah, uh, uh, better, better not. Actually, I think we, I, you know, it's not a bad idea, I guess, to, uh, let's make that a six, uh, or a 2v2v2 match. Let's add, uh, let's add them into the fray if we can. There we go. Little speed muscle out there. Just to add a little bit more umph to this match, because we're going to need it. <laughs> Uh, still, that's going to be the finish. So, Speed Muscle still aren't going to be involved in the finish in any way. So, okay. Oh, it's just the pre-booking page is all fucked up now. Alright. Well, that's fine. So, back to what's going to be on the pre-show. Just kind of... We could do, uh, Sahito and Taue. Against, uh, Bison Smith and Keith Walker. That seems like a pre-show match to me. So this happened back in September. Uh, this time around, we're gonna have them get the win in Taue and say, you know what? We're gonna have Taue beat Keith Walker. Have beat Bison Smith. Hell yeah, Taue. <laughs> we're getting a win. And, uh, we'll have it be a singles match. The other pre-show match. Hell, that means Zach's done such a great job. And to now just have probably have a pre-show match here. As <laughs> I love how uh, Masahiro, Masahora Yoshihino, we could have him be in a match. So I guess we could do him and Adaka. Sure. So we'll have Zach get the win. Here we go. That is the card. Just gotta make sure reps are good. Yep, everybody's good. To end out the episode, Great Voyage on Osaka Volume 4. So 47 <laughs> for Tawe and Akatoshi Saito against Keith Walker and Bison Smith. It's just crazy. Keith Walker's almost in the 50s. It's Tawe Shubu Cement over Bison Smith. I got a 47.66 for Zack Sabre Jr. and Akuta Adaka. He's almost in the 70s. Dear God, that's awesome. As uh, Taguchi beating Bobby Fish, that's a 58. As uh, with the Dodon in 1628, it's a 67 for the 2v2v2 match. As uh, Speed Muscle taking the uh, again would have been just a one fall contest, but that's all right. So that way, Naruki Doi and Masada Yoshino would have been protected. Yeah, definitely would have been a lot better. Now that we added speed muscle to that, thank God. It's an 81 for Neymichi Marfushu's an 88. This is crazy. Uh, ZB Chuji Shikawa to Shiren Yu in 2148. Fuck yeah. This is a 74 for the Strong Pillars of Violence against Diamond Ring. It's Daisuke Sakamoto pinning Keno with the Moonsault Press in 2002. It's Daisuke, best guy in the match, with 79. And Yuji Kawagashi with 77. Nakajima with 72. 70 for Miyahara. 58 for Masada Tanaka and the 52 for Keno. Let's round up the group of the 77 here for the tag match as, uh, wow, Kent, the best guy in the match. It's with the bombs away in 2250. In hindsight, probably should have had, uh, you know, no mercy win that one. That's all right. I didn't expect Kent to have an 85. Just didn't see that one happening. It's a 71 for the GHC Junior Heavyweight title matchup, as that's his eighth defense for Taiji Shiroi. What a year he's had. It's, he gets the one to M. Ocilio in 23 23, 76 for Ishimori, 66 for Kotor Suzuki. It's an 80 for the Global Junior League Finals. Great chemistry to put it over the top. 
Hell yeah, as Devitt with Prince's Throne in 2348. It's a great win for Prince Devitt as he's got a now title match with Taiji Shimori. It's a 90 for our main event. Jesus Christ, as uh, we have the Kings of Wrestling beating Laughter 7 as Claudia with the Ricola Bomb on, Cla on uh, Sakuraba. Yeah, everybody was awesome but Sakuraba, and even then Sakuraba with 68. It's not like he was terrible. <laughs> Crazy. What a main event. Wow, what a show. I mean, that was nuts. An 88, best show by far. That would have been awesome to have as far as uh, Gate and Pop. Fuck. <laughs> Just fuck. But, uh, yeah, what a show, though. I mean, that was awesome. We're going to put over Devitt. Uh, we're going to put over... I'm trying to think of else we could put over here. Kenta, for sure, uh, for what he did. Felt like we haven't put him over in a while. And, uh, I'm trying to go else. So I'm trying to just kind of go with all of it. You know, we've done Sakuraba, or we've done Shibata, rather. We've done Claudio a good bit. I got, you know, I haven't really, I don't see Claudio's name actually in a while, so yeah, Claudio. Hell yeah. Well, what a great show that was. Great way to cap off the end of the episode there. As a now onto the another tournament, it's gonna be the Global League, and uh, what a Global League that shall be! You see in the ratings. I mean, it's been a year, a year and some change now that we've been booking in this mod, and it's really paying off in a big, big way. You know, we're uh, Claudio's high 80s, uh, Mar Fuji's high 80s, uh, Chris Hero's like 95, Cla uh, Shibata's like 90s. So that's like five guys we just named. That are plus 80s, and then Kent is an 85 now. Like just it, it's going, it's going pretty great. Zio has graduated. That's cool. Huh? That's cool. He was sent down to all Japan for. Huh? What in the world? He's going to. That's interesting. So yeah, I I guess uh, New Japan and All Japan have like a developmental deal. What a weird world that would be. Where if. All Japan was used to send young lions down there. Huh. Interesting. So, yeah, uh, you know, I'm not sure what the brackets are going to look like for blocks A and B. I can't believe we only made $810. Like, $810,000. Obviously, if we probably ran another big time venue, probably would have been way above in the ticket sales. But, yeah, I mean, since March, we've been over a million in ticket sales. That's a great sign. I mean,. Yeah, but we're only paying like 200000 for workers, too. Or just a cash cow. Would have been nice to kept in big, but uh, we'll be back. We'll be back. Our roster's great. We'll bounce back. As uh, Thank you all for watching, and we'll catch you guys next time. Take care, everyone.